Hey everybody, this is going to be the part two video on how to drive a manual car. In the first video, the part one video, I discussed uh, really the basics of making a shift into first and second gear and then coming to a stop. In this video, the part two video, I'd like to focus more on uh, shifting gears from one to the other um, throughout the range of gears that you're uh, working with. In this case, this vehicle being a 2012 Chevy Sonic, it's a five gear vehicle. So I will be discussing um, that sort of scenario with you here today. Obviously your vehicle could be different. You may be dealing with five, six, or seven gears. Um, just depends on what you're driving. To start off, I'm going to show you this list of gears and also the associated mile per hour range um, that would typically be associated with the gear under just regular uh, driving conditions. Okay, I'll make sure this is, you can see this okay. I'm gonna just scroll down here. You see we have first, normally from zero to 15 miles per hour, second, 15 to 30 miles per hour. Keep in mind too, this applies to my vehicle and these ranges can certainly differ uh, depending on what sort of vehicle you drive. Third gear, a range from 30 to 45 miles per hour. Fourth gear, 45 to 60 miles per hour. And lastly, fifth gear, 60 to 75 miles per hour. Okay, this is a good general this is a good general framework to keep in mind. Um, that way, as you're rounding corners or decelerating or changing your speeds, you have an approximate idea of what gear you wanna be in. Now, when we start talking about more aggressive driving where you do want the tachometer to be up in the higher RPM range and you want access to more, more power, um, these ranges will differ a bit. So for instance, say to consider the second gear mile per hour range I have listed here, uh, rated from 15 to 30 miles per hour. Say for instance, you wanted quite a bit more power, but we're actually already traveling really around the, you know, 28, 27 to 30 mile per hour range. Well, if you wanted access to some more power at that speed, you could drop, um, you could shift into second gear and you'd be revving a lot higher, say around 3000 RPM or so, and you'd be able to, you know, have a good solid harder acceleration uh, into, you know, up, up into the 40, 40, 45 mile per hour range in second gear. Now, yes, that would be out of the the original 15 to 30 mile per hour range that I was discussing under general driving conditions, but behaving in this way will give you access to more power. So I'm gonna give you a driving narrative here as I go through kind of this safe residential neighborhood and you're going to just hear firsthand um, as I make some of these changes into different gears, okay? All right, here we go. So I got both the brake and the clutch pulled in. Obviously I have, you wanna make sure you have your e-brake, your emergency brake disengaged each time you're in a manual. Okay, I'm going to begin making my shift here into first. Take my foot off the brake. We'll obviously look both ways here, be safe. Push in a little bit of gas as I'm releasing the clutch about halfway. And you'll notice here we go, we're on our way here. And continue applying the same amount of gas and just release, release the rest of the clutch. Now normally I would do gear changes uh, quite a bit quicker here. Of course I would normally shift into second gear right about now. Um, or even sooner, but I'll go ahead and do that here. Foot on the clutch, off the gas, put the stick back into second, and a little bit of, well in this case we're going down a hill, so I'm going to brake a little 
Well, I still do have the clutch in. Put it into neutral. We're at a stop here. Again, shift into first. Foot off the brake. A little bit of gas. Halfway out on the clutch. And continue with the gas a little. And the rest of the clutch out. And see there, I'm just so used to shifting into second very swiftly there. But to re-illustrate, let me just slow down here a bit. Okay, say we're... Okay, I'm going to put it into first again. Okay, I'm cruising at first. Okay, cruising at first. Now we're going to do a second gear change. Clutch in, shift, I'm off the gas, into second, a little bit of gas as I'm releasing half the clutch, and there goes the rest of the clutch out, and we're in second now. Okay, shifting into third. Now keep in mind, as a general rule, you're pretty much putting in the clutch, pressing in the clutch each time you shift to a different gear. Okay, I'm a little bit on the gas. Well, here we're coming to a stop sign now. So I'm just going to continue cruising in a second here. Okay, now off the gas, in the clutch, put it in neutral. See there, and we're at a stop. Okay, into first again. Shifted it into first. While well, my foot in, my two feet on the brake and the clutch. A little bit of gas. Halfway out on the clutch, here we go. Rest of the clutch out as I'm continuing to apply just a bit of gas. Okay, just habitually shifted into second gear and we need to get out of this neighborhood. Well, actually, let's see here. Okay, we're gonna make a turn. I'm just gonna kind of cruise around this turn. I'm going slow enough where I can continue to remain in second. You'll see I'm at about the 15 or 14 mile per hour range here. And now, into, here we go. Press in the clutch, shift to third, little bit of gas as I come out on the clutch, and we're cruising in third now. You'll see here the range. Now, you can cruise in third a little bit below the 30 mile per hour range, of course. It just keeps your RP, RPMs a little bit lower. Again, the range that I cited was general. All I did there when I'm taking that turn, I pretty much just lifted off the gas pressed in the clutch and rounded the turn. Now that I'm out, I'm gonna continue in a second, make your shift as your foot's on the clutch, apply a little bit of gas as you're letting the clutch out. And there you go, we're cruising in second. All right, I'll turn onto a little bit of a busier road here in a moment. Okay, off the gas, press in the clutch, shift to neutral to brake. Okay. Wait for this car to come. Obviously look both ways at each stop sign. Okay, shift into first. Foot off the brake, on the gas. Little bit of clutch out, about halfway. And you begin going. There we go. Foot on the clutch, make your shift. A Little bit of gas, there's a clutch out. Okay, let's go into third. Clutch in, make your shift, a little bit of gas, clutch out. There we go, I'm cruising in third. Now we're gonna take a right hand turn to stop, clutch in, shift to neutral, okay? Press on the brake, clutch is still pressed in. All right, here we go. Shift to first. Little bit of gas, halfway clutch out, here we go, rest of the clutch out. In on the clutch, shift to second, little bit of gas, there's the clutch back out. Okay, clutch in, shift to third, little bit of gas, let the clutch out. Okay, now we're going to fourth, clutch in, shift to fourth, little bit of gas, let the clutch out. Here we go, now we're shifting to fifth, clutch in. Now each time I'm putting the clutch in, I'm letting it off the gas, okay? So clutch in, I'm off the gas, into fifth, a little bit of gas, let off the clutch. Now I'm in fifth, the highest gear for this particular vehicle, and you're gonna see us cruising here for a little bit. People will talk about uh, downshifting, which you can do at times, it's kind of a, a preference. Uh, usual, um, for instance, that is when you're coming to a stop, 
Um, I typically do not do that. I prefer to shift into neutral and uh, break that way. I mean, you're already do already doing, you know, quite a bit of uh, shifting as you're just accelerating and things like that going through the gears. I don't feel it <clears throat> to be all that necessary and actually quite tedious if you're constantly downshifting every time you're braking. So I'm going to illustrate a stop coming up here, or actually looks like it's green, so this will be a good example for us rounding a corner. In on the clutch, we're going to take this corner at a slow to medium speed here, actually you might even, we're going to have to stop, so I've been on the clutch and then I press the brake. We'll take a corner here in just a moment though. Once this traffic clears. Okay, so my foot's on the brake and the clutch. We're gonna shift into first, a little bit of gas as I let out half the clutch. And there goes the rest of the clutch there. Back on the clutch, shift a second, little bit of gas, rest of the clutch out. Press the clutch, shift a third, little bit of gas, rest of the clutch out. Now, press the clutch, shift to fourth, a little bit of gas, let the clutch out. Okay, we're going to take this turn at a slow to medium speed. Right now we're cruising in fourth. I'm going to press the clutch, brake a little bit, shift to third, and we're in third. We're going to release the brake, press a little bit of gas, and then release the clutch out. And we're just cruising at a you know, kind of a slower speed, so it's it's okay if you want to be in third at 20 to 30 miles per hour, it's okay. Now we're going to shift to fourth, press the clutch, shift to fourth, a little bit of gas as you let out half the clutch, and then the rest of the clutch. You want to get these shifts as smooth as, as smooth as you can, and the only way really to do that is um, learning, but then most importantly, practicing on a safe road and getting first-hand experience doing it. So right now we're cruising in fourth. I'll do a couple downshifts. Press the clutch in, shift to third, release the clutch, and you'll notice the car will slow a little bit without even any sort of gas being pressed. I'll do it again. Clutch in, shift to second. I will brake a little bit there, but I am rounding a turn, so that's fine. I'll a little bit of gas and still foot on the clutch and I kind of braked there as I approach the driveway. I usually slow down because my car rides a little bit low here and then go into first as I enter. So shift into first, a little bit of gas, halfway off the clutch and the rest of the way and just slowly pull up here and then off the gas and the clutch and the brake and we have pulled back into the driveway. So that is meant to be a brief first-hand uh, point of view narrative for you on just getting a feel for uh, shifting from different gears and uh, doing so smoothly um, and correctly. Um, it's not really important that you learn to do this really fast right away. When you're first learning, it's better to do things a bit more methodically and a bit slower so that you're doing them right and you're getting the proper feel of it. And then once you get that down, then you can continue on with uh, getting things a bit faster and more fluid and more natural. And then before long, um, once you have more experience and practice driving a manual car, you're not even really going to be thinking about shifting and things like that. It's almost just going to be muscle memory and almost just kind of programmed into your, your brain and you won't even really need to be concerned with it as you're driving. You'll have an idea of how fast you're going, what gear you need to be in, and you'll just kind of shift into that gear without really thinking much about it and your feet will do the work um, as well uh, without much real um, uh, thought behind it. It'll almost become automatic. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any comments or questions, uh, please leave them below and I'll go ahead and uh, see if I can answer them for you. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more videos I have coming for you. 
Thanks for watching, and I wish you luck in learning how to drive a manual. Take care.